Hello everybody, it's me Bob Mackey here for the final Retronauts Lunch Break of 2012, and who is here with me? Jose Otero, what's up? What do you mean the final? What are you talking about? It's the final There's one. There's still like two weeks left of this year. How dare you? I don't you? care, I'm kicking up my feet. What? Everyone, Everyone needs a vacation, including me. Oh my god. And you know what? Who's going to be in this office on Friday? Nobody. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Wait, next Friday or the week after? Uh, the next next Friday. Next Friday, the week after. I don't know. I just know the year's almost over. And yes. Yeah, it's great. I really like your approach, by the way, to the show. Uh, user request. Yeah, this is the user request, ep yes. user request episode. That's so if you're right. following on Twitter at Retronauts, you can let us know what games you want to see. We're sticking to the NES only. And that includes import games. So if you have any Japanese games you want us to play, uh, yeah. go for it. Okay, and if you're watching on YouTube, too bad. You could have suggested something, yeah. but you didn't. I bet you feel pretty bad about that now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, Jose and I are going to each start with our own choice, and I'm going to play uh, a little bit of Rockin' Cats. It's okay. a pretty That's a good choice. A pretty sweet little platformer by Atlas, believe it mm -hmm. or not, when, yep. they, when they made a lot of different games, not just RPGs. Yeah. And um, it's like Bionic Commando, but with a uh, cat. So that's basically <laughs> all you need to know. And a spin jump. Yeah, I, and I just a spin saw jump. that. So Bob and I were talking right before uh, he hit record and started. Oh, God. Playing. Oh, God. Okay. He's yeah. like stuck to you. Um, and wait, I wait, 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 one second. How, yeah, how do people go. get a hold of us and oh, tell us yeah, what to play? Oh, yeah, that's right. Please, if you want to make a suggestion, reach out to us over Twitter at Retronauts. That's R E T R O N A U T S. That's right, like astronauts, but yep. only retro. Yes, that's please right. continue, Jose. I'm okay, so no, so I remember uh, growing up, and Look this is common with a lot of NES games I get, like seeing a spread for this game in Nintendo Power and be like, holy shit, this looks really cool. Um, the minute I saw you do the punch uh, move specifically, it just triggered this memory <laughs> in my mind. Like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, and I guess on that note, pour one out for Nintendo Power. This is the last issue, and it's out right. Uh, is it, it's out right now, right? Uh, I think it should be. Yeah, Nintendo Power. I'm gonna try to get some of those guys on a podcast maybe next year. Just to, Ooh. I would right. love to talk to them about uh, the magazine because I, I, it got me hooked on Nintendo games, and it kept me a fan of Nintendo for a long time. Yep, a lot of folks. Yeah. So yeah, this is Rockin' Cats. Like I said, we're gonna be switching between games pretty quick. So probably maybe like a stage of each. And Jose, do you know what you want to see? Uh, I do, but I'm going to wait because okay. I'm still like, I think I know what I want, but uh, I'm being, you know me, last minute decisions. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm yelling really loud in my ear. Am I l that loud in your ear? Uh, a little bit, but we can deal okay. with it. Apparently okay. Rockin' Cats lets you punch women, which is one uh, step ahead of Final uh, Fight. <laughs> holy cow. They didn't just say it was a guy. It they were. Th these are poodle women, so I guess it's okay. Mm, okay. Mm, insert yep. obvious dog joke here. Uh, those aren't poodle women. Those are cross-dressing po poodle men, so it's okay, <laughs> right? Is that what Capcom would say? Yeah, I guess that's what Capcom <laughs> would say. Uh, nice work, though. I mean, this was a, this is an interesting choice, especially because let him idle for a second. I mean, this is post toe tapping world, right? I mean, he's, yeah, he has an idle animation, which uh, there we go. <laughs> I guess in the '90s became kind of a thing, right? Yeah, it's like everything. Every every character you needs to be impatient with you. Yeah. Because that's how awesome video game characters are now. And did Sonic kick that off? I want to say yes. Um, At least that's the first time I remember. I'm gonna it, say it's the first time it was like everyone noticed it. Mm -hmm. It might have happened yeah. before, but um, I'm usually yeah. bad at this game, and I'm doing okay now. But we're gonna turn I, this know, off in really a minute. It's really funny because I'm usually bad at a game with an audience, so maybe that's it. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm also uh, playing on our laggy HD TV, so uh, please excuse why aren't any. You looking at the monitor. That What's monitor's dark, and you're not going to be looking at the monitor because it's too far away. Yeah, Jose's going to be playing too. Um, yeah, yeah. I'd want to try to get people. So we got requests coming in, dog. Like we have a lot. Um, I shouldn't have said it that way. We've got requests for Hunt of Red October, Hunt for Red October, which I also remember from a Nintendo Power spread. Oh God. How can you give that game a spread? That movie. Everything uh, got a spread, Jose. Everything got. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything got. Like no, no joke. Um, at least two pages. Okay, now the bird's mad. Uh, so that was from. Freezing Inferno. We got a Total Recall request from RSS Schuster. We've got, uh, could you play Rad Gravity? Which, there's some of these games, I don't even know a lot of them. Because, I mean, growing up in the late 80s, early 90s, um, I don't know. I mean, we I had like 50 Nintendo games, but I wouldn't say I had them all. Uh, you then know? you'd have like 700 or something like that, right? Was that the final count? I think so, in America. Good Lord. Let's switch games. What do you want to do, Jose? Uh, give me Castlevania 3. 3? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to... Oh, behind the curtain here on Retro Guys, Nuts, just so you know, I, I purchased uh, all of these from the original owners, and uh, they've all been compensated. So uh, let's hope this doesn't land us in jail, okay, Jose. And you're, you're playing the uh, the Ameri North American version, So right? we can play the translated... Um, did I choose Castlevania 3? Let's yeah, find out. Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. yeah that, no, that's a Japanese Here's game. a translated version. Eh. Okay. And I it's a Japanese it, version sure. too, yeah. so you're gonna get the awesome Not music. There's that, that much text in Castlevania Three. I mean, honestly. There we go. Ooh, listen to that. Yes. Okay, wait. Can we put the sound up so people? Uh, can hear yeah, this? I can do that. Here, you can take the control, and yeah. I'll and I'll take the uh, the Twitter feed. Oh yeah, sure. So yes, we're playing Castlevania Three now. Then we'll let you guys decide, but we're selfish, so we're going first. Okay, but listen to this awesome music. That is. 
That's uh, some good shit. Noticeably better than the NES version. Do you want to explain why, Jose? That's because uh, the Japanese version had a special chip inside of it. I'm trying to remember the name of it. it uh, Jeremy wrote a pretty cool article about it because he interviewed one of the, the engineers that actually made it. Um, but it basically added an extra sound channel and some extra right. sort of like sound trickery. Back to it. when people would just slap things on the carts when they wanted <laughs> it to do things that the NES couldn't, like the friggin' FX chip. That's, That's the right. SNES, but you get it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, so, what uh, is this? Very cool. Uh, I never know <laughs> how to say the name in Japanese. And just like Zelda, you should name him. Oh, no, it's Trevor. It's not Simon. Holy oh, cow. You're, yeah, you're that's right. doomed. This is, you know what? It's just going to be S. Let's because, do it. Uh, people don't need to waste this much time <laughs> putting in a name. Look at that cross. We didn't and even get that cross with all those like, oh, symbols right. on it. We just got a regular one. So the one inside and sort of the flourish, those lines that are around the outside, we didn't get that. There are a and lot of different changes. One of the enemies is different in the first stage, too. Hmm. Music's so amazing. Yeah, it um, is good. It, I can definitely hear. It sounds uh, like fuller, richer. So I was explaining to Bob that my first Castlevania was Castlevania 2. And when I f went back and played Castlevania 3 and 1, I was kind of shocked because I thought all of the games were like that. Uh, mm. These kind of open world, sort of day and night. That has to be a weird uh, uh, sensation. Adventures. Yeah, and it was. It totally blew my mind. I was like, what are you, huh? Like, this is so different. Um, it's so linear. And it's, I mean, I didn't know the word linear, but I was like, this is really straightforward. Like, I don't understand. But, um... I really grew to appreciate them uh, over time, and I, I love this series. I mean, by the time Symphony of the Night came out, I've been hooked ever since. Uh, so, uh, how do you feel about the music? I like the music in this game the most. Oh, it's so it's amazing. It's the most rocking-ass music on an yeah. NES. Yeah, no, by far. Uh, one of the best examples of, uh, of really cool, like, sound programming and, and music. And uh, if you listen to the American one, it's not that it's bad in any way. It's just when you listen to them side by side, they're so yeah. different. It's, it's still good if you don't know any better, but if you do, then... Um, can you actually jump to on the stairs in this one by holding up? Just, like, jump straight on the stairs? I know in the later ones you could. Oh, that was a bad I just mistake. want to see if you can do it in uh, this one. There was a moonwalk in four, but I can't do it here. Uh, can you jump on the steps? And that is a if no. You jump yeah. and hold up. It doesn't work. Yeah, no, it doesn't okay. work. Okay. Oh, so were all these crosses gone in the uh, American version? Uh, no, I think most of the. Uh, that's funny. I'm not entirely sure on on the church and in, inside of this part. All right. the uh, stained glass, maybe. Maybe um, crosses are okay for using them to kill vampires, but not yeah, if but you're just... Yeah, but I don't know why uh, they took all those flourishes off the cross in the, in the beginning of the game. I mean, hmm. that, that's the most harmless thing you'll probably <laughs> see. That's that's sacrilegious. Uh, yeah, so uh, in a couple of... Maybe in a couple of panels, um, even uh, the, the Igor that you fight uh, is replaced by like a little... It looks like a goblin or something. I don't hmm. remember the name, but yeah, there are different like even enemies in some sections, which so is weird. We have some tweets coming in. Apparently it was the MMC5 chip which I Thank guess was you. only used for this, and someone made a request that we should not play any more mainstream games, and I agree, we should uh, stick to some of the... Uh, oh, too bad, buddy. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. At least oh. no more, like, no Mario, no Mega Man. No, no, definitely. As, as I, Medusa heads are always a pain in the butt. Of course. Yeah, no, I agree with that. It's just you had to kind of experience... This isn't really the mainstream version anyway. Take that. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I get defensive. That's cool. Castlevania. So let's let's take... Uh, ooh, uh... I'm going to take a request, uh, Snake Rattle and Roll. Do you know anything about that? Uh, no, I want to see it. Weird. So, it's yeah. weird. So we're okay. going to play that next. Okay. After cool. you beat the boss the, here. Uh, oh, do I have to beat the boss? All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to ask you to. <laughs> okay, sure. No problem. Unless what, our, what unless our folks at home. Is anyone else complaining? Uh, nobody's complaining, but please tweet into us <laughs> at Retronauts <laughs> on Twitter, R-E-T-R-O-N-A-U-T-S. Uh, we're right. taking viewer requests for our I'll last lunch asshole. break of the year. Yep. And we want to know what you want oh, to see us is. play. Oh, there he is. Holy shit. That's different. Okay. Let's yeah, he's not there in the uh, in the American version. That's strange. Do you, uh, we don't know why. Uh, yeah, that is kind of a weird... Too uh, intense. Maybe yeah, maybe. I don't know. There's there's naked women in uh, Super Castlevania 4, but that's not on the system that we're playing today anyway. So, so. We've, we've got a tweet coming in. It's our buddy whose name I once learned how to say, but now forget. And he says, um, what are the chances of getting a new 2D Castlevania game from Konami? <laughs> um, isn't that new uh, portable one 2D? I uh, don't know anything about it. it. It's, I think it's like a 2.5D kind of thing, or it's isometric in some okay. way. You're talking about the, uh, the the current Castlevania mode that right, Portugal like Productions has been Spanish, kind of overseen. Spanish Castlevania. Uh, I don't know if it's Mercury Steam on the 3DS. Oh, really? One. That's okay. a good question. Yeah, Mercury Steam is the one who did the, the platform, uh, excuse me, the, the big console version, but I'm not entirely sure about gotcha. that. Gotcha. Yeah. But anyway, listen to this music. It's, it's so, so good. amazing. Yeah, nothing we play today is going to sound this good. Uh, That's right. You're probably right. Unless yeah. we play some awesome Sunsoft games, which we might play Mr. Gimmick or you uh, should. Yeah. Euphoria. I'm going to die on purpose because That's there's okay. no way I'm going to beat this guy with this much health. Can't you just cheese him? Uh, is there a cheese for him? I forget. I thought it's like... Been a couple of years. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, just okay. kill me. All right. Let's on. switch That's off. Yeah. I'm going to put on some Snake Rattle and Roll. Change it up.
and uh, we're continuing our hour-long live stream of your choice. So please tweet into us at Retronauts on Twitter if you'd like us to see us play something. It could be something bad. That could be fun too. Yeah. I mean, I, cool. I imagine we'll get a total recall. Uh, oh, we got request. one already. Yeah. Oh, we did. We did oh my get god. A total recall request. Right, yeah, RSS uh, Schuster, the my man. Would you like to play that next, Jose? Uh, no. Why don't you put okay. something else first? We can do that. Um, next. I mean, after you after can this. Play the next game. Okay. Oh, wow, he's got a bunch of good suggestions. Nice. Uh, he's got uh, Dick Tracy. So you can see uh, 8-Bit Madonna. Oh, God. Uh, can you? Did they get her likeness <laughs> right? No, I doubt Okay. It. There we go. This is made by Rare, and they made a ton of... Uh, Rocketeer? Oh, good choice. We're getting some other requests, too. Rocketeer. Yeah, Rocketeer is a good choice. I remember uh, drooling over that, too. And then Capcom did that uh, Dark Void kind of like uh, Rocketeer thing. Whoa, what is so, this? So, Jose, how Check do you feel about off? isometric graphics? Because here they are. Oh, my God. Look at that. What are you doing? How are you moving? Who knows? But it's going to be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm pretty bad at this game. I can see. Oh, no, actually, I can't see. Oh. Um, it's weird. This reminds me of... Uh, didn't Sega do something like this, too? Uh, Sonic 3D Blast? Yeah, everyone did isometric. isometric when they couldn't do 3D because they're like, here's something we can do that kind of is convincing, but yeah. not really. Yeah. I'm, I'm really bad at this. It's hard to control, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no worries. <laughs> I'm oh, going wait. To. Why don't you look there? Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah. So Seems I guess I can eat better, these huh? things, and uh, they do stuff. That's my description of this game so far. Wait, oh yeah, you're wait, eating. Wait, does uh, the first stage of Athena have anything to do with this game? Because that tweet comes in from David Yu. Uh, it has nothing to do with this game. David Vu. Okay, sorry, that must have been a Castlevania thing. Anyway. Yeah, I think it was. So yeah, this is Snake Rattle and Roll. Like I said, made by Rare. They kind of uh, they kind of built their company on doing awesome technical things that uh, with systems that couldn't really be done. Was that a foot that just That's chased foot. you around? And I believe to escape from every level, you need to uh, have enough things on your tail to uh, meet whatever standard they want. So maybe this one was like five five oh, little things. Oh, okay, I got it. And you did fantastic. Those are hideous snakes, by the way. Yeah, they are kind of ugly. I'll play one more stage. Is uh, this a two-player game? Like, you can play at the same time? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, no, because I see the purple snake, so, and I doubt it's one uh, or the other. You can play as Rattle or Roll. But uh, no, uh, I guess battle. This is pre-battle toads. Did you too. have to put in a mushroom for your game? A mushroom? <laughs> is that a mushroom? Oh, I guess so. Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay. I like how things just explode when you touch them with your tongue. So what kills you? Just if an enemy hits um, you? I, think I see you skating on top of water. Like, it's no problem. Enemies uh -oh. touch you, you lose your uh, little tail segments. Uh, and I think once you're ahead and they touch you, you're, yeah, like that. Yeah. So, Jose, wow. check out check out Twitter, our little bit new game, and you can play. Yeah. What would you like to play? Okay, uh, I guess, should I be the brave one that tries Total Recall now? Yes. Okay. It right, will, so it will not start. last you more than five minutes, because I know as a child it lasted me about that long. Okay, let's so do it. So take the control. Right, so I didn't play Total Recall. Like, was Have this you seen one it? of the licensed crappy games? Because the only good licensed games I played growing up growing up was uh, Batman. It is it is the licensed crappy game. Oh, <laughs> it really? is the yardstick by which to judge uh, licensed mm, crappy games. So it's not E.T. anymore, huh? Uh, okay, no. Good. Remember, uh, we I'm played ET. Yeah, we did. I remember. Surpri on the Atari it's surprisingly competent for a massive of a 2600 game. Yep. And total. if in case you want to participate in the conversation or send us requests, uh, please tweet at us at Retronauts during this live stream. Yes. And we will do our best to fit as many games as possible into this episode. We're going to be jumping around a lot. We had fun with this on the Atari episode, so there we go. Oh my god, it's Arnold. It's skinny, uh, younger yeah, his, Arnold. Yeah, his face is like compressed. Yeah. What happened? Okay. That was an accident. It was from going to Mars. I'm Buck. I can't do an Arnold uh, impression. I'm not good at that at all. Get your like, ass to Mars. Something. Yeah, get your... <laughs> Wait, they don't say Wait, that. Wait, he, he doesn't say that. There's no way they say that in this game. Uh, no. All right, I'm skipping cutscenes. That's is, cool. This is not... So oh you're Arnold God. Schwarzenegger in a in a strange urban this hellscape. This is a janitor's outfit. Yeah. No, uh, sorry, I went there. Um, Holy cow, what is it? Uh, did I just get Go into buildings, out? Jose. Go into buildings. All right. What the hell is this game? Oh, you can, you can watch the credits. I can watch the movie? Wait, Brian Fargo. Yeah, graphics by Scott that is? We need to find these guys and say, okay. what the hell? Get the hell out of this place. Yeah, okay. What Trust hubris. Let, let's put our credits in as a special feature. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yep. Getting shot at by a guy in the trash. What the hell? Just like in the Total Recall movie, uh, little people will hide in trash cans and take pot mm -hmm. shots at you. What do they do with the, uh, oh. the, three, the, the three boobs? How the hell did I get here? What happened was you walked past an alley and you were pulled into it by another little person. This game is a kind of a hate crime in its own way. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and it's the guy from Kung Fu that's kicking at me. Yeah. Can you see him? Let me reach over and that's grab the nuts. Twitter yeah, yeah, feed. Yeah, so right now we are playing Total Recall, unfortunately. We're taking requests for <laughs> NES games. Awful. Yes, it is. Oh, okay, um, okay. Oh, I'm supposed to keep going. Got it. Hey, 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 get away from me. So TV's Mr. Neil says, Rare is like treasure. They're good at making technically impressive games that I don't want to play. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think they have, they have the, the same kind of track record. Maybe. Uh, in that, okay. I don't know. I have a soft spot for treasure. Um, maybe I shouldn't, but uh, mm. all I can think of is the great games that they make. Uh, and I know there have been some that are not so great. 
Okay, apparently the uh, Castlevania. Oh, I got pulled into an alley again. There you go. The, oh, the oh Castlevania God. portable game is going to be 2.5D. Uh, okay, cool. According to one of our. Yeah, friends. I know Jeremy saw it and was not impressed, and that's kind of the yardstick that <laughs> I measure the quality of the Castlevania. Jeremy doesn't care. I'm pretty sure I'm it's, not going. It's to not going to get the Jeremy Parrish seal of approval on the on the box. No, maybe. I don't know. Hey, there he is. Speak of the parish. Uh, the, uh, the 2D Castlevania. We were just wondering earlier. I'm playing Total Recall and hating life. We are How about are to change away from Total Recall. <laughs> yeah, please. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You have an obscure. Why don't you recommend an NES game for us to play? Nothing mainstream because the audience will turn on us. Jeremy Parrish is floating in the background. Yeah, that's what I'm talking to. Condemning you. us. Okay, I don't want to say what that looks like, but that's that's fucking <laughs> disgusting. Calls it a Clario. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. <laughs> you could say that. All right. We're on YouTube. This is a PG-13 okay. podcast. I mean, uh, video thing. Yeah. So. All right. You got a recommendation, or you want to jump in the hot seat for one game? Okay. Oh yes, Matsuno game. Okay, I like it. Con comes to the Crystal Palace. Yes. Okay, let's play. Let's play something else first. We have a we have a request going on. Yeah. All right. And, this uh, one comes from the boss, ladies and gentlemen, because Crimson Shroud is out this week. Yeah. Uh, which is a uh, Yasumi Matsuno game. If you're unfamiliar with that name, you should know it if you're listening. First, we're gonna play something channel. else though. What? Yes, and then we'll play Con Cust okay. of the Crystal Palace. So what are you first? Athena. We've gotten a few. Uh, uh, a few Athena requests. Yeah. Oh, so you, is this a good game? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's why people want to see it. You got some Famicom games here too, right? Uh, like, I have uh, everything. Do you have a uh, Muramase Joe. Um, I probably do. Well, I we mean, do like a minute of that game. Later. Okay. Way later. So here we are, Athena. This is a game I don't think I've ever played, but I I remember seeing it as a very very old NES game. All right. And I didn't know what it was. Who made this? Um, I just missed the maybe Vic Toka. I just missed the uh, okay, thing okay, on the okay. screen. Got it. No one you need to worry about. Uh, okay. Oh, you got Mappy Land, Drax Night Out from Brian Kent. Uh, so recommended by Brian Kent. Little Mermaid. Hell no, I'm leaving. I think uh, 2010. Athena is the goddess of. Uh, um, inaccurate jumping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've learned so far. I don't know what that is. I'm going to pick it up. Uh, can you pick it up? Yeah. Um, so there's a cool swinging animation for your character. Is that a handbag? What I don't know that? what it is. It looks like uh, like she's walking an invisible dog. Mm. Uh, her invisible dog beat the other invisible dog. So thanks to everybody for recommending us. <laughs> 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 I imagine this was exciting in 1986 or something. Mm -hmm. but um, I mean, it's kind of pretty. I'll it is, that. I guess. Yeah, it's, cool. it's, it's decent looking. Someone yeah. out there is like, how dare you? Oh, uh, look at this. All right, give us thoughts on Athena. Tweet at Retronauts. Did you play this game? And what did you think? Oh, wow, Athena's... Now she's become the warrior princess. No? Um, maybe a little bit. Yeah. She's got the helmet. Are these... Okay, good. good. They're not going to spawn forever. Yeah. Nice climbing animation. Good work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, wait. Your little dog turned into a hammer? Um, I guess so. Hey, look, <laughs> mushrooms again because you're in an NES oh, game. Oh, you got a shield now. You must okay. have mushrooms no, in your she's, NES she's game. She's definitely turning into the goddess of war. Wait, how the hell do you jump that high? You hold up. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Interesting. It's pretty easy to figure out. Oh, god. Oh, god. I think you just killed Pegasus. Oh, you got a sword now. Nice. So, uh, we're going to do Conquest of the Crystal Palace next. Okay? Yeah. You want to try that, that one? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, I played it for a few minutes the other day just because... Uh, once I, I, I heard it was a Matsuno game, and it's also the first time I think he worked with uh, the same guy who did the music for most of the uh -oh. game. Is that Sakamoto or whatever? Oh, that, that was the game, not my computer. <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> hell happened? All right, we're going to get away from Athena. All right, Conquest of the Crystal Palace. We're going to play Conquest it. of the Crystal Palace yeah, next. And that then was we're a, going to another user request. A request by like um, Jeremy because Yasumi Matsuno, director of Final Fantasy XII. Well, not director, but he put most of it together. For yeah. A part of it, yeah. And you might know him also from Final Fantasy. Wait, tactics, tactics, Vagrant and Vagrant story. story. Yeah, that's right. And uh, he wrote the story for Mad World, which I'm still kind of shocked about. <laughs> um, but Bob has a great theory for why that happened. Uh, he he wanted money. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Captain Planet. No. <laughs> oh, All right, fine. <laughs> so here we are. All right, here we are. Wow, remember Asmik? Oh, here, hold that. I remember their awesome, uh, requests, their so awesome mascot boomer. Pick, pick one of those. Okay. Uh, yeah. Or pick. The, uh, what did you? Uh, Captain Planet is what he said. Captain Planet. Okay, we can do yeah. that. He also recommended Rocketeer. So pick your. Let's see. I would oh, like wait, to try. This, this is the game with the Chun Li lookalike. All right. Yeah. So. I, I was once the keeper of the Crystal Palace. Okay. Can I just skip this? Um. You can Apparently try. Try not. hitting start. I did. Oh, maybe oh, not. Wait. No, it worked now. So we've got a request to play the DuckTales Moon level. Maybe we'll go out on that. That sounds like a classy way to uh, yeah, go out. Yeah, that's a very classy way to do it. 
So this is pretty cool looking. Yep. I've actually never uh, played much of it. Yeah, me either, until the other day. I just started. Um, I don't remember it, but uh, from what I could tell, it's kind of like side-scrolling adventure. You have a dog that helps you too, and uh, from what I read, he can't die. Oh, really? Um, yeah, you'll see him like fly off a cliff. And uh, oh, there I gotta go. say, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, almost got killed by the stone man. I'll try and hurry to get to the Chun Li lady. She's uh, all the way at the top of the mountain, if I remember right. So guys, like I said before, we're playing um, viewer requests yeah. and I guess in-office requests, but that's cool. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, so just tweet in, let us know what NES game you'd like to see us play, and uh, you can follow along oh, by uh, jump. reading okay. our Twitter feed. Yes. All right, so... Come on, come on. Almost there. Sheesh. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. No. Am I dying? No. no, you're good. Okay. Your dog health is still pretty high. Yeah, I don't know how to call him. Let me try select. Select nope, up and nothing. B. Nothing. Nope, nothing. Actually, I lost the lady too. Wait, if I pause it, does she show up? No. So I found one yesterday. Where, oh, there she goes. Hi. Oh, all right. So the one saying hi, cut to it's Chun Li. Very cool. Or close to it. Uh, herbs restore some power. Okay. You can switch between items, I think, by hitting left and right. Okay. Let's see. Is she gonna give me one? Yeah, I just bought one. Okay, and use it. All right, let's back up. Yeah, I want to spend more time with this, but uh, obviously today's not that day. How do I get out of this? <laughs> um, go to exit. There ah, you go. There we go. All right, use the bad. Thank you. Come again. She also shows up as kind of like a on a TV at some point. Were we talking about that the other day? I think so. Yeah. All right. How much yeah, she more does. Like she watch? does. Yeah. Like in between levels, like uh, sort of new ca newscastings. Yeah. Oh, newscasts. and this is another one of those uh, day to night games. I can't believe we missed that when uh, we were talking about. Uh, Does that happen naturally or what? I think so. Well, no, I think it always happens when you get to her. Okay. But maybe it happens naturally. I don't know. I got to her pretty quickly. All right, you want to switch? Uh, sure. We're gonna put on Captain Planet. Oh. <laughs> Just <okay>. uh, briefly. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> because I don't know if I can stand. Uh, <laughs> we got against Captain. Who's Planet? your favorite planeteer, Jose? Uh, the heart. correct answer is fire. <laughs> because <laughs> why? Why would you want anything but fire? Uh, I like the kid that was heart. How mm. dare you? I could talk to animals any day of the week. <laughs> if I could just light anything I want to Bob on fire. Maggie, bird whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you have fire, you can take all the rings for yourself. No one's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sweet. So here we are with Captain Planet. Okay. Do you know that? Uh, Whoa. David Hayter was a was a was a the voice of Solid Snake was a Russian character on Captain Planet. I believe it. Of Captain Planet. That's true. That's a real story. Huh? Uh, I can't remember the name of the villain, but all I know is there he he played a villain that showed up on that show who had a Russian oh, man. accent. They even they even got the um, Gaia the, uh, the opening scroll wrong. It's like the Earth is in peril. Gaia. <laughs> blah blah. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, it's a shooter. For, it's Are a you serious? First. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and you crashed. Look over there. Look over there. Oh, yeah. That's the case. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jesus. Wow, one hit. I guess Just the power totally of fire. I was wrong about the power of fire. <laughs> <laughs> I need the power of uh, flight or wind. Uh, wow. Very nice choice. Jeez, oh. This makes me hate the environment. I'm going to go outside and litter. Hmm. Let's see. Bartman meets Radioactive Man. Oh my god, please no. <laughs> Let's let's uh, see if there's a good game. I think we need to even these out a bit. Okay, we got an off-topic question from uh, Ryan. Off-topic: Are you seeing The Hobbit tonight? I say no. Um, I was you going. Had a ticket to go. Why the yeah, hell are you I have because I because I care about our audience. Oh, I want to get some work that? done. Oh, yeah, I got work to do. Too. And I really don't. I I would want to see The Hobbit if it was just one movie. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't have the time for that. <laughs> Okay. Oh what my God! What is that? Is that a Walker from Star Wars? Yeah, that's a, that's a lawsuit <laughs> coming at me. <laughs> Wait, shoot him in the legs this time. Yeah. Uh, see what happens. Or the yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. All right, nice. Oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jose, what are we doing now? Holy cow! I can't do this All anymore. All right, let's put um. Fester's Quest. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Indiana Jones. Fester Qu Fester's Quest or Indiana Jones? Indiana. J no, uh, actually, we we took a. Want to do Fester's Quest? Ryan request yeah why not? okay i want i want to at least play the awesome opening and then we can play a little bit of the first level the, the opening is so great yeah um do you remember this game or have you played it i remember it i didn't play it okay i wasn't really into adam's family it was kind of weird i think by the time the adam's family was kind of a big thing i was kind of like uh, this was pre uh pre movie this is pre raul julio movie yeah yeah okay. so uh i love this uh opening it's looks really great the game could be a lot better but it looks good and it sounds great so there's our buddy uncle fester okay 
and uh, just let this play out. <laughs> There's an arcade game with Fester's face on it that's Adam's Family um, branded, yeah. and you kind of hold these two sticks. It's like a shock. Like oh, yeah, I played, played that or whatever. Everyone's played that yeah. in an arcade. Look I at that. That's a face of pure horror. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> this is the Adam's Family theme for the 90s, people. Listen to those great uh, noise channels. Wow. On, on just an NES, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is Sunsoft. They did good shit. Here yeah. you go. Uh, oh, it's got to be me. Or I can I can take before? it. I played it before. All right, you I'll play take it. over. Yeah, I, I didn't play this thing. So guys, this game would be a lot of fun if you if dying so didn't. You, you play as a bald hobo. Yeah, you do. Who? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this game could be so great if it actually kept your progress. Every time you die, you start over back here. Really? Well, and that's kind of a thing in a lot of NES. This games. is a long game. Okay. This is a very long game. Um, okay, I yeah, guess Zelda 2 cool. did a similar thing, but it, it's even more punishing in this game. Was this around the same time? I mean, did we have like cartridges that had? Uh, uh, yeah, this is '89. So okay. uh, Zelda yeah. had come out, and um, yes. not even a password. No password. Oh, Unless I'm, I'm remember remembering incorrectly. Uh, also, this game is kind of a, a jerk because. There are power ups that make your gun stronger and power ups that make your gun weaker. And so you have to kind of do. Wait, do, do the do, do they at least look different? Yeah, the, I think the weaker ones are red and the stronger ones are blue. Okay, but still. Yeah, yeah. this game has like terrific music though. Um, yeah, that's actually really good music. And I'm kind of surprised. I thought Konami stuff was the best stuff we'd hear in today. Oh, Sunsoft is. Uh, I mean, Sunsoft did the Batman game, and that that's has right. great music. No, I, lo I love the Batman game. And yeah. then probably the Even same. Even though it had uh, nothing to do with Batman. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Well, the Michael Keaton movie. I mean, he can move so well in that game. <laughs> so, yes, as you can yeah. see, we are doing user requests on Retronauts Lunch Break. It's yes. our final one of the year. Tweet Please in. Please tweet in. At Retronauts, R-E-T-R-O-N-A-U-T-S. Oh, yes, and this one, Sean, so you just got on. You missed Castlevania 3. Sorry about uh -huh. that. Uh, we were playing the Famicom version, but you can see it on YouTube when this episode goes live, so yeah. check that out. Hey, uh, Jose, those frogs look familiar? Oh, Maybe a little game called Chris Blaster McTiernan Master? is my boy right now. He recommended Gyromite, but you don't have a second controller. No, I don't. Can, can you just open the doors for me on your computer? Come open on, the man. doors? Yeah, you know, that's all the second player does, is they pl they open the doors and they start shit. Like, they close oh. it on you when you're, like, halfway through. Uh, I don't know if I could do that. It's just Gyromite, I mean, hit Tanaka. That's Hitsunaka. true. Tanaka. Plus, the it is obscure. No one cares about Gyromite, which drives mm. me absolutely nuts. But I don't blame them. I mean, unless you had a second player, there was no way you could appreciate it. Yeah. Rob was kind of an idiot. So as you can see, I, I just want to go to the underground section. This game yeah, plays sure. a lot, this game plays a lot like the the bad parts of Blaster Master. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that that's they, they kind of reuse the engine, quote unquote, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. It's really strange to me an Uncle Fester game in 1989. Maybe they thought there would be a movie, or they knew about do something that we didn't. Mm -hmm. But um, so what do you want to do next, Jose? You're going to be playing uh, next. Let's see. I'm looking through this, the uh, recommendations. You played Athena already. Super Glove Ball, maybe Gunsmoke. We don't need a trying to find something I've actually played. Uh, Holy Diver, Legend of Kage? Uh, choose something. Oh wait, uh, <laughs> oh, I, I don't know, this is a request show. I don't want to just uh, ignore user requests. Okay, uh, put yeah. on TNC Surf Design. I don't even know what that is. Oh, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's not very good, but I can play it. Oh, thanks. Oh, you're going to play it? Oh, cool. Unless okay. you want to. Uh, I'll play it. Uh, Either one, either okay. or. Do you want to play? Please send in your requests. Yes. And, uh, send Please cool send them to us. Send at in good Nuts. requests. Ask for more in Masay Joe, so I can uh, feel good about uh, getting <laughs> Bob to play that. If we missed your old request, retweet them in, and we will see what we can do. T N C and C, right? Ryan is requesting everything. <laughs> Ice climbers, good choice. Okay, I don't know who requested T N C, but um, yeah, uh, that request comes from David Vu. Oh, David. Yes. Why would you do this to us? Uh, that's mean. Mean spirited. Wait, do you have it? Uh, yeah, it's right oh, here. Oh, there it is. Surf design. Surf design. Yeah, remember these awful clothes? They're back. Well, they're not back, <laughs> but we're gonna look at them again. Okay, let's see. Okay, L J L J N. You know you're in for a treat when uh, that mm. pops up in uh, on the title screen. Oh, of course. All right. So, what do you want to do? Uh, street street skate session, big wave encounter, or wood and water rage? Uh, let's go with street skate. I'm okay. all about street skating. A button, B button. Okay, I'm gonna be. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know what just happened? Uh, yeah, I think I selected a character. This game okay. is bad. It's like California games, but even harder to control, if you can believe that. Uh, California games was cool, then, and this wasn't. Uh, California games, mm, I don't like it. It was really hard to control. I, I remember getting good at it, but I don't remember why. Ooh, Wipeout. Okay. Yeah, this is going to last for about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> No offense. That's okay. It's hard. Yeah, it is hard. I should have went with the wood and water rage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> That's okay. We you did that on purpose. I did not. We can try one more. Oh, it's game over week on one of this week. That that, that, that was appropriate. That. Yeah, totally appropriate. Let's try Check the... out our fantastic cover stories. I don't know what wood and water rage means, but I want to find out. Okay. Why not? I still want to know why you're picking two different people. Oh, you choose A or B to uh, select between them. Oh, okay. This so appears switch. to be... Uh, no, no. Um, I, th I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, this guy's pretty awesome, I guess. And uh, I guess the wood is the the skateboard and the water is a surfing section I might get to. Yeah. Um, help? What I <laughs> Okay. Well, what happened? Oh, those damn RC cars. They're everywhere in California. Yep. Some people call them a Prius. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Editorializing. Uh huh. Maybe. Oh, All right. Okay, that's it. I what can't do you want to play, anymore. Jose? Uh, put on. Let's see. Holy Diver by Irem. Is that something you want to play? Uh, I just saw someone uh, recommend okay, it. Okay, well you're gonna play uh, that it. one comes from Bader Alamir. You are playing Holy Diver. Okay. You're Is welcome. that like the Ronnie James Dio song? I don't know. Just you, if you play Little Mermaid, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just warning you right Holy now. Holy. Yeah, I'm saying it. Diver. See. There we go. Right, I don't even know what this is. Well, you're about to best. find out. Yeah, from Irem, though, which that's cool. We like Irem. They're right? the R-type peeps. R -type. Yep. Holy um. Diver. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a Castlevania ripoff. I forgot. Is I it I totally really? forgot it is, yeah. Do I get a whip? Um, or is it all lightning? We're about to find out. Okay, 1989, folks. Made so, in yes. If Made just in, released in Japan. Oh, yeah, tweet in. If you're just tuning in, we're doing uh, user request games on Retronauts Lunch Break. And uh, let us know what you want to see us play from the NES library. Just tweet into us at Retronauts, R E T R O N A U T S. Right now, we're playing Holy Diver. Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> so. we, you might not have seen this because it didn't come out in America, but it's uh, kind of a Castlevania ish, ripoff ish thing. Kind of? A little bit. <laughs> I'm going to say the guy has projectiles, so it could be worse. Uh, that's true. I don't even think Sypha had uh, projectiles in, in Castlevania. I want to say that he just had the little, like, sort of candy cane staff that would yeah. come out of him. Oh, if you want to see a Castlevania ripoff, play Eight Eyes. Eight Eyes? Yeah. Okay, we can put that next. Just yeah, we could try that. Just see how much of a... Okay, this is, this we got to make uh, sure we get the user requests, too. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm telling you, I want more Masai Joe. We're only halfway through. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, we got time. All right, keep sending in requests, and don't just send hard games because you want to see us fail, because yeah. that's mean. Uh, yeah, this isn't Castlevania. He can't even, <laughs> what the? They didn't have the programming know-how to make stairs. Yeah. Oh, wait, really? Is this also, like, Metroid style? Because you know I hate that other word. What's that thing underneath the uh, stairs? Oh, my God, it's a bracelet. You might need that bracelet. I wonder why. Oh, God, get it away. And that black thing might be a door, that black square. I don't know. Yeah. I want to hear something yell. <laughs> Um, too bad yeah. we're not playing mainstream games because we could have showed people the, the real Metroid. There you go. No? Oh, the real Metroid, right. You know what I mean by the real Metroid. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's on here. Uh, okay, so we need... Uh, I mean, the two minutes of it. Do you think people would hate us? Uh, no, we could we can get to that eventually. Oh my god, they even had the Medusa head arc. Yep. Jesus, how dare you. Holy Diver, you are Holy shameless. Cow. How the hell were you not sued? <laughs> Check out that badass cross. There's a snake wow. and a skull. I want yeah, that as a they're tattoo. Totally edgy. Way more edgy than uh, what Castlevania got away with. You can just do this all day, can't you? Yeah. Well, they keep coming. <laughs> also, the strange. Oh, wait, I guess hearts aren't currency in this. They're actually hearts. Yeah. That well, was a strange oh. thing. All right. And that's done. I'm Thank gonna you, hold on to that controller, Jose. Okay. What do you got? We're gonna play next? Eight Eyes just so we can compare the Castlevania okay. ripoffs real we've quick. Got, we've got all. We've got Castlevania Three. We've got Holy Diver, and now Eight Eyes. Eight right, Eyes. Let's do it. All right. Sequel to Seven Eyes. Um, they wish. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. you have a cool bird in this game, I guess. Did this come out of America? It did. Okay. Initiate. Uh, initiate. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, Select start stage. I think I, I think I uh, Spain Arabia. is weak against Egypt weapons, so you want to start with the. Uh, Whoa! What did I do? I hit back. Okay. Uh, start. Wait, there just, you go. Yeah. How the hell is this a Castlevania ripoff? Um. It just kind of looks a little like it. Yeah, a little. And, uh, I see it. Check out that music, <laughs> dog. What's with the cross? That actually reminds me of Fuzzanadu. Yeah. Wait, Fuzzanadu or is it Fuzzanadu? Why do you say Fuzzanadu? Because it's the Famicom version of Xanadu. Oh. And I only just learned that, like, I learned. I think I learned that from Retronauts. Oh, cool. Which is a brand that you run. How yeah. about that shit? I, oh, I, it, cool. it teaches me. Wait, how the hell did I go up the stairs? Um, up, up. There oh. you go. There we go. Yeah. 
He's got that I've, that, uh, that whole I've got problem with stairs. Right, do you uh, have a story for this thing? Because so far I'm not <laughs> digging it. What's, um, what's happening? It's just like a Castlevania ripoff. It's more That's like it. Castlevania 2 than anything. So why am really. I going across the world? Uh, I don't know. There's probably a story in the instruction book. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. The back when they made those. Yeah. Yeah. If you cared, you just would consult it. <laughs> All right, yeah, All I'm right. almost done with this. <laughs> let's, let's let's give Jose one more uh, Castlevania ripoff to okay, play. Okay, what else you got? Uh, I'll show you. Somebody just requested it on our Twitter. Mm. Please tweet into us, at Retronauts. We yes. need your request, and we need uh, your love. This is our last one of the year, so let us know if you liked. I think we've done like 43 of these now. It's an extravaganza We should put them, all on, a, put them all on Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. Could we? Um, Maybe. Right. Top men. <laughs> Top men, we'll find out. Wait, what are you picking? Um, I'm looking if we have it. Okay. There we go. Apparently, this is a huge castle Kick ripoff, master. too. Yeah. Okay. You, the master of kicking. I thought that was Kung Fu. Ooh, good music. Kung Fu should have been called Kick Master. It was called Spartan X in Japan. Mm. Okay. This game. There's one of the scummy living skeletons. Wow, th this is real skeleton versus human uh, s social commentary. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I skip this? Look like she's on a oh. motorcycle. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I was like, am I playing? Yeah, this is totally Castlevania. So already. I see it. We are playing Kickmaster Part right, Four for one. What ripped off Castlevania um, <laughs> series? Jesus, this Please. is totally animation. Like, I see it already. It's pretty cool though. No, yeah, I gotta say that. What did I just pick up? I don't know. This is all I got, really? Yeah, Jose, you're, like, you're the Kickmaster. You're not the Swordmaster. You're not the the, the Whipmaster. I like how th just th things just explode. Yeah. Also, uh, you're getting experience points, so this is like a pre uh, Symphony of the Night Castlevania test style RPG, so yeah. that's pretty cool. That's Time true. your yeah, kicks. Time your kicks, kicks master. Okay. Thanks. Ooh. There, there you go. go. I guess you can choose what reward you want yeah. when you kill an enemy. That's that's kind of cool. You can't get all three. You're not so bad, kick master. Okay. No, I, I gotta say that. So what, do you, what do you think of, of the Castlevania ripoff, Jose? Which one is your favorite? Uh, I think I might play more Kickmaster. I, I actually like it. I want to yeah. try more of this. Thanks the, the music's for, uh, really good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for who, recommending who this. Recommended that? Um, Brad or Badder? I, I didn't realize mm -hmm. Castlevania also got ripped off. I guess that was kind of the thing. Mhm. Mm okay, wait. Did anyone rip off Mario on the NES? I'm trying to think of like a really. Oh man. Like um, dead on. Like oh god. How the hell did this get approved? Gian <laughs> Gianna <laughs> Sisters. That's pretty cool. That didn't come out of the NES though. Hey, what's up? We have visitors? Yeah, it's Mike. Oh, it's Mike. Mike hey. Zipkin of IGN Video. Yes. He's, he's standing by. by. Here you go, Jose. Let's, let's trade off. All right. Somebody requested something. I'm going to pop it on. Okay, what are you putting? Uh, the Untouchables for some reason. <laughs> I don't remember that. My friend who usually watches these and harasses us about Bionic Commando is not here, but he should be because we're going to play the one game he always requests aside from Bionic Commando. Oh. He claims to be a master at it. Bionic Which I guess, Commando? Uh, no, with the Untouchables. Mm. Uh, so. Okay. Speak. We're not playing Bionic Commando, right? Um, I don't think so. I think we want to stick to some like obscure style games. Remember this awful movie? I sure do. Wait, the Untouchables was awful? I didn't like it. Ah, uh, how old were you when you saw it? Um, Wait, probably in my twenties. The Untouchables. With uh, Kevin Costner. With Kevin Costner. Right? I just think he's like just a wet, saggy sack of turds as an actor. Wow. That I said it, folks. Yeah. On Retronauts. <laughs> so, so, as we can see, it's got a cover system. Whoa. Take that, Gears of War. More like Gears of Snore. Mm. No, I would never say Whoa, that. Oh, yeah, don't, don't. No. <laughs> Sorry. That Seriously, is me. this the first cover system in a video game? It might game? be. It might be. I'm kind of surprised it has a cover system. Go back. Go back and cover. Wait, how the hell do you go back and cover? I think A. Oh, okay. <laughs> this music. It all went to the graphics programming. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, time ran out for oh, extra, wait, extra. Timed? Guy sucks at game. Why would they time you at a time uh, something like this? That's I don't crazy. know. Oh yeah, it's at the bottom. 23, 22. I'm gonna read it all out loud as you play. You got two shots. Now guys, I'm controlling this with a cursor, so uh, you can imagine the fun I'm having. Yeah. Take the thrill of the Untouchables into your home with the Untouchables for the NES. <laughs> Guess what? Right, your favorite R-rated movie is in NES form. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay. I don't think the Untouchables is gonna last long. Can you? No, uh, it's not. Can, can we? Yeah, get out of here. Uh, I'm asking you for it oh, for you're Twitter. Me for yeah. A, for an uh, yeah, sure. Um, ooh, Friday the Thirteenth. Okay. Yeah, why not? I have some respect for my friend uh, Michael though, because he apparently mastered the Untouchables, and it's pretty damn hard. Hmm. But uh, that's first cover system in games, folks, ever.
You can thank the Untouchables when you're playing everything because yes. that's and where And if you're just joining from. the conversation, please tweet it in to at Retronauts. Uh, Brian Kent uh, brought up a good request that uh, I kind of like. I'd love to hear the intro music of Maniac Mansion, just because that is a really cool part. Uh, we could do that after we do this. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I don't remember a game shing, before that. Shing, shing. You gonna do this? You gonna go after Jason? Yeah. Well, I'm going to um play LGN, it. LJN. LJN. Yet again. Uh, it's so this was kind of cool. You could switch between different people. Like yeah, they all different have different skills, but I think you only want to use two of them because yeah. like one guy can jump really high and one guy is good at. Was it George? Um, I don't remember. It can't be Paul, because that would be so... I think it's Mark, outrageous. yeah, that would be... <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, um, how dare you? So this game, I believe, was made by Atlas. Um, they did really? a lot of uncredited contract work, and uh, people have tried to trace out oh, yeah, who made it. Jumper. Yeah. Look at those shorts. That's the 80s right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you play, if you've ever watched Friday the 13th, you surely remember these scenes where mm -hmm. you th people are throwing baseballs underhanded zombies. Well, the thing is, too, Jason could just show up like randomly, and he will kill you. Like you, you rarely stand a chance. But you do want to get a better weapon than a rock. That's true. What are the other weapons you can get? I don't remember. Uh, there's like a baseball bat. This game's surprisingly complicated too. It had like a map. There it were different is. houses. There were different places. You had to constantly try and run around to save people. It feels a lot like went a, into a um, first person mode. Right yeah, there. these things were all the rage. Or third person. Yeah. And then you fought Jason in this weird punch-out style uh, battle. That's right, yeah. He even fought his mother as a flighting, floating head. Yep. I mean, they, they were pretty... I, so you're saying Atlas made this, right? I mean, for a Japanese company, they seem to pretty well know their Friday the 13th. <laughs> I guess so. It's it's, pr it's a pretty bad game, though. Um, oh, of course. The thing uh, is children are dying. Oh, no. Go find out which house. No, never go in the water. Oh, really? God. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Have you not played this before? Uh, I've barely played it, but maybe they're the cabins over. Do you really do you really know which cabins to look at? Yeah, the one that's flashing. Oh. That's where you have to go to check on the kids. Man. That means he's attacking right now. I'm fully You're letting children die. Bob. I like that that's idea. Terrible. I'm fully stocked on children, Jose. I can let a few go. See, I've got okay. five just hanging right. out there. Yeah. So I think we've seen enough of this game. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. All right. So um, what do we got next? We got a request for Gogolo 13. Oh, Jesus. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys win. Why not? That comes from George on Twitter. Uh, George Tordoroff. Hope I got that name right. Um, so someone asked on here why the, <laughs> the word Castle of Metroidvania makes me cringe. Jose, you'll have to answer that. Mm -hmm. Jose, you'll have, you'll, you'll have to answer that. Oh, I do? I think so. Uh, I just feel like it became too popular for its own good. I don't know. I'm one of those people that uh, it, it's a very inside term for people who understand games but it's not very open for people who don't that's and true also, like if you saw oh my god i've been shot uh, what was that game that uh that chair put out um, oh uh shadow complex. Yeah, shadow complex yeah shadow complex every game. review every single one had that word they that really was like my my breaking point they really flogged that word to death yeah. I, I i still feel that we are, have a lack of words to describe things in our in our mm -hmm. business so i don't i don't mind it that much but i think um there are different ways to explain something that maybe would be more apparent to the person who didn't know what a metroidvania was yeah so I agree with you there. Yeah, so we're going to yeah, watch yeah. this cool cutscene. Uh, this game was extremely violent and uh, sexual okay. for being an NES game. And I just think it was so bad that whoever had to check out this game for um, licensing was just like, wow. yeah, whatever, make Look it. that gun. Yeah. It's almost phallic. I see a lot of guns in NES games, I want to say. At least not on the title screen. Cool anime eyes. Let's get started. Yeah. Oh, we got to play RoboCop. Speaking of guns. Oh, yes. Yeah. Your move, creep. The Iron Curtain. Yeah. So, Duke so Togo. So, was this based on the anime, or did this come first? It's based on James Bond. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's actually based on a manga, okay. which they eventually the made into an anime. Yeah. Okay. And, and um, I think like Duke Togo, the main character, is more—he's um, a total James Bond ripoff. But I think he's more uh, true to the novel version of James Bond yeah. in that he's just a total dick mm -hmm. and just like a smug asshole. And he mm -hmm. doesn't never—he really, doesn't have a lot of gadgets. He's just like you know brutal and hardcore. Okay. Very cool. Um, I yeah. like it. I like it. So we're going to suffer through this cutscene, and um, yes, you guys probably all know this is the game where you can have sex with women and uh, get your health back, although it's very, they wink at you, they don't show anything. Of Th course, this could have been they the don't use that word. Yeah, this could have yeah. been the hot coffee of its day if anyone actually played it enough to get to those scenes. Really? But, um, wow. Uh, this game is a mix of all kinds of badness. There's bad first-person segments, there's bad um, maze segments, there's bad platforming. Um, yeah. Just a lot of bad things happening in Google 13. I think the second game was better. Okay. In some way. 
Uh, oh, yeah. In case you're just joining the conversation, uh, please tweet at Retronauts. This is our last episode of the year because Bob said so. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're taking user requests on NES games only. NES or Famicom? Does this thing support Famicom? Everything. This everything. System? Any this anything. System? Even this system. Yes, even this system. What? Let me explain to you how bad this game is. Okay, first thing, B jumps. Yeah, look at his B jumps. His oh. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> A shoots, B jumps, yeah, go backwards. back to school. Yeah, Come on, yeah. let's go. No, that, that's true. Oh, you just got shot. Also, you can't seem to shoot people like uh, I hate this. Oh, game. when they crouch. Yeah. It is kind of rough. Look at this wimpy little kick too. Well, look when he's like idle. His legs are like wide. What is <laughs> going on there? <laughs> oh. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. The KGB will be watching every move you make. Oh, before I move on to our next request, somebody uh, PM'd me, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they wanted me to play Rescue the Embassy mission because they couldn't watch um, the live stream live. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can say I rented this. Oh, there we go. These are the first person segments where you have to do this. Oh, and you have to shoot it? Uh, and as you can see, it didn't work. Wow. So okay, that's I'm totally uh, glad I didn't put money into this. Golgo 13. I'm going to do a little Rescue the Embassy mission. Okay. It's sort of like the Rainbow Six of its day. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's very, uh, oh, rain. No, down, down, down. Oh, I was looking for a rainbow. <laughs> no, no. There we go. Because you thought of Rainbow yeah. Six. Yeah. No, so yeah. let's try it out. Man, you got everything on here. What the hell? Yep. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Calling attention. Oh, someone still wants to see you hunt for Red October. We might that be able to do that. Freezing Inferno. So what happens? Submarines? Back and forth? Um, I th remember it being really boring. So this is game, it breaks itself up into a series of different types of gameplay where you're you're breaking into this embassy and rescuing people. I believe yeah. that's pretty obvious from the title. Yep. But um, let's let's choose Lieutenant. So Tanch on Twitter points out, uh, because I asked earlier for a Mario ripoff on the NES, and he said, wasn't Tiny Toons a copy of Super Mario Bros. 3? Mm. Can you, do you remember that at all? Um, Tiny Toons was just a kind of a copy. It was just a platformer. It was no... Wait, you're sneaking around? I am. Oh, wow. Uh, so yeah, there's different kinds of gameplay. It reminds me of a PC game, like, of this era where there's lots of different kinds of gameplay, and they're all broken up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you get spotted? Wait, yeah. did you get shot if you get spotted? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Interesting. I don't know. I, the minute I think of stealth games, I think of Metal Gear. I think every. I guess everyone does that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh wait. Who the hell is shooting at you? Guy Mike. He's floating away as an angel. <laughs> Next, Steve is going to make. There's his not move. a Superman NES game, is there? Um, there is, and it's god awful. Okay, we need to play that. All right. I just need to see it. So what's on the queue here? Oh, uh. Someone points out that looks like box art Mega Man, by the way. <laughs> it kind of does. Yeah, that comes from Wayne on Twitter. Um. So wait, you want to know what next game? Yeah, what's the next game? Uh, I guess we should do Red October. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to try that? Uh, sure. I will do it. So this game is kind of cool. Um, I actually want to restart it real quick and go to the... Um, oh, I guess I can... Here we go. Now we're going to play a different mode. So what are you doing now? Oops. Sorry. I think I have to s sneak uh, some of my guys into wait, the... Wait, did you just survive or not? I did. Okay. Here we go. Anyway, I'll do I'm, so I'm speechless. Yeah, I got nothing. Dude, you're getting shot at. <laughs> Perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to sneak all of your dudes into the building first before you can do uh, the successive missions. This Which. is almost as, <laughs> as bad as in Metal Gear Solid when the guys are like, all clear. <laughs> like, he's gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. Uh, let's just pretend that we never saw that. Yeah. Pretty good music, too. Who did this? Uh, Kemco. Remember? Kemco. Nice. Yeah. All right, so... Okay, here we go. We can play at least one. Uh, see, once you get your guys into place, you do a sniping mission, I believe. Okay, got it. Uh, there's all kinds of different missions. I think there's five different kinds of game, little games in this game. Okay. Bye, helicopter. So I'm going to choose uh, Jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Dick Kemco. See, I, I guess I have three guys in the embassy and then guys on rooftops as well. So look at this. We get oh, to snipe. Oh, wow. Holy cow. That's I like his cool. I like his little uh the way he's holding the gun too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I'm looking for people to snipe kind in this mode. I'm surprised this isn't an NES game. I mean, Nintendo was so obsessed with kind of quality con well, not just quality control, but the content, right? And what was in it. Yeah. I think it was just a more <laughs> a more violent time if you could uh Yeah. What year? 1989? Okay, wow. This was heavily featured in Nintendo Power too. Really? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's pretty much why I know about it. Okay. Um I don't know. Maybe you need people right. in place before you can take sniper shots. Oh, no, I'm looking through uh, requests. So, okay, I'm going to get away from this. I Superman hope you... for NES is called Sun Man, according to TV's Mr. Neil. That is almost true. 
it was going to be a Superman game, but they had they lost the license, so they couldn't get it. Why don't we start with that it. first, Sunman? Um, just, just to see it, just show people. That's not the bad one. Sunman's a I good know, game. I know. That's why I want to start with something good before okay. I suffer through Superman. <laughs> okay, we'll play Sun Super Sunman, Superman, <coughs> Hunt for <coughs> October. What time do we got? Uh, we're at twelve forty nine, so we gotta. Okay, we, we gotta, gotta on delay. Yeah. So we'll show you a little bit of both. Yeah, I believe uh, you can read that over at the Lost Levels website, which is really great, Frank Cifaldi's website. But um, I think that has a story of what Sunman is, and it was a Superman game, but then they lost the license, like I said before. Okay. And Here, uh, if you play this. Okay, go for Here. it. Yep. Take Hold that. on a second. If you're just joining us, well, you've missed 50 minutes, but yep. uh, we're doing viewer request stuff. Anything on the NES is it up for fair game. We've got about 10 minutes left. Why is there a floating head? Don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> There just is. <laughs> He's looking at a pink. Uh, wait, uh, what? That's our Sun oh, Man. That's Sun Man? Yeah. Wow. So we're never playing Sun Man. <laughs> originally, you can see Superman. Yeah, they just like erased you. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, originally, it was a Superman game. Interesting but that Sunsoft, because they also did the Batman game. Mm hmm. And this is one of their last uh, oh, kind of. He's turning into Superman. I yep. mean, Sun Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is a good game, you say? Um, I've heard it was good. Uh, Sunsoft. Wow, even the cape moves when he yeah. turns from side to side. That's that's the sign for me. Have you ever played Batman Return of the Joker for NES? Uh, with the I didn't. Gigantic is that a yeah, it is. Yeah, gigantic sprites in that game. Batman is like maybe twice as big as that, or maybe like 50% yeah. bigger than it's that. Funny. This reminds me of a Superman iOS game that came out this year. <laughs> uh, whoa, I didn't do that. Okay. You have a sensitive controller, Bob Mackie. And that's Sorry not a that. Nintendo. That was a $10 controller, so okay. you get what you paid for. Yep. <laughs> Sunman <laughs> is dying. Oh god! Wait, can he die? I mean, even uh, I guess yeah. that's the thing people hate about anything, even if it is a Superman or isn't a Superman game. Wow, I died! All right, I'm on the run. I'm gonna I'm gonna load up Superman so we can get moving to our next request. Okay, yeah, this is totally a Superman. game. Superman is god awful. I mean, like oh this this Most next Superman games are god awful. This next any this next NES game is really bad though. Um, really? Yeah. Do they at least have the uh, the Hans Zimmer like whatever Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Williams. I don't remember who did the John song anymore. John Williams, I think. Was it John Williams? It was. John, yeah, not Hans maybe. Zimmer. Help us out, man. people. No, it is. It is. Superman. Hold on a second. Superman. Superman. Uh, it's a compound word. Oh. <laughs> Did I miss it? Super. Uh, down. Oh yeah, I just saw it. Sorry about this, guys. That's okay. Behind S the curtain. Super. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, okay. It'll be. It'll be after yeah, these. Yeah, now it'll. Cool. Superman. Hey, there, we go. there he is. Bam. <coughs> I want right, you. I so want you to. This is god awful. Yes, please stick with the intro though. I do want to show you something. Uh, okay. We're playing. This is Superman for the NES. Really bad. Is it as bad as the Superman game that uh, Richard Pryor and uh, whoever was in <laughs> Superman 3 was playing? Oh, uh, this game might be a little better. Go okay. ahead and start. I want to show you this great opening cutscene. Yes. Oh, oh come on, oh, Jose. Shit. No, <laughs> start. Well, no oh. I, if you leave it idle, it does oh, okay. it too. Oh, no, oh. it doesn't. Okay, reset. You know what? Reset. Let's reset. Holy shit, they let you play as Clark Kent? That's good. Yeah, you start as Clark Kent. You have okay. to uh, change into Superman. Find a, cl uh, find a telephone. Um, there we go. Reset. Sorry, I have an unhealthy love of Superman. It's let's let's just let this uh, play out, and I'll show yeah. you how stupid and crazy this game is. Yeah, it it, it almost had the anime eyes going yeah. over there. What was that? Um, is this is this is nothing to do with the John Williams theme. Yes, yeah, uh, Superman gets his uh, <laughs> orders from Anime Statue of Liberty, as oh in the comics. Oh my god! Yeah, that's bad. Look at him too. He's kind of got a big head going on there. You're fighting Zod. You okay. are Clark. You are Clark Kent. Well, thanks for the reminder, mm -hmm. uh, reporter. I didn't know that. You, you will are... fight for truth. Wow, she's ordering. She's like telling him <laughs> flat out, "You better do this shit." So Superman gets his marching orders from the from a French statue. Okay. Okay, that's, let's start the game. Probably naked. Uh, okay, let's go. So you're Clark Kent, and uh, right, everything right, around you is hideous and green. Hi, Lois. Strange things are going on in Metro Park, the exact place on the map. Yep. Yes. Okay, I don't need the map. You let's probably go. don't want to talk to anyone in this stupid building. Okay. Oh, is that Jimmy? Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> what? That, that's no some crazy one jumping. <laughs> no one noticed like, I could jump that out? Clark is jumping 20 feet in the air again. <laughs> I suggest you leave this <laughs> how building. How do I get out? Hit up by the door or down, maybe? All right. Yeah, it's got to be down because up is the... Oh, okay. And if you find a... Um, oh, God. If you find just a telephone booth... the street will flat out shoot you. There should be a telephone booth to your right. Wait, and, what um, the... Wait, I can... Oh. Ah. Firing bullet bills at me. Wait, you said the right... There you uh, go. Right. I did remember that at least, and then you can just go in that, turn into Superman, and uh, oh, kick their go. butts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing a good job here. Oh, there we go. Where yeah. What's the two for? Uh, you have that's you have like freeze breath one and freeze breath two and oh, heat okay. breath one, heat breath two. I mean, you have a ton of powers. Not all of them are useful, and I don't most even of know them what aren't. I'm doing. 
We're just this punching dudes bizarre. in the head. Yeah, this is more bizarre than the Atari episode where like one <laughs> button you didn't know what you were doing, and this one it's even worse. I played a lot of this as a kid because one of my friends had it, and we just played just to try to figure it out. Like, what yeah. are we supposed to do? What does anything mean? Yeah, this is really bad. It was bad. troubling. I can't do this anymore. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's see the Hunt for Red October because right, somebody wanted it. it. Yeah, someone did. This better be good, somebody. Yeah, that's right. Skywatcher points out Superman's head is super small in the title screen and super large in the game. That's really strange. And it is John Williams. Oh, oh. Yes. It didn't sound like it okay. at all. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no, okay. it didn't sound yeah. like it. I yeah. just mean that was the composer. I was a little off there. Clint. I think Hans Zimmer's Batman. <clears throat> Tom Clancy's. This is Tom Clancy, right? Ooh, Beam Software, we know we're in for a treat. <laughs> you know what they made? I also remember a uh, Nintendo Power spread about this. Maybe want to watch the movie, but then I heard, oh, the movie's kind of boring. Can I tell you what Beam Software made? Oh, wait, is this like a Steel Diver? <laughs> Steel Diver? <laughs> yeah, Maybe. Hello, the oh, 3DS, yeah, hello, the 3DS game. Remember? It was yeah. a launch game. You can get that game for $5 right now on Amazon. Or at least the other day you could. So this is great. No, it's not great. Right. <laughs> Where does Sean Connery... Whoa! Man, submarines gotta go through a lot. Did you see that wall just like come out? Yeah. Um, They're looking is, for This you. is not gonna last long. Are they hunting for Red October? Uh, we found it. Okay. Oh, you got a little like uh, <clears throat> radar going down up there. Do you have to kill those boats? Do you have to shoot them or anything? Um, I think I think you can kill things above the water mm. if you swim up. Okay. But uh, I'll tell you what. I think I've had <laughs> enough of this Red October <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me Muramase Joe. Uh, let me show you one one thing quick. All right. This this game was made by Beam Software. You know what else they made? Uh, I'll show you. Show me. I'll right. show you what else Let's they see. made. Maybe it haunts your what nightmares. You oh God, it can't Let's be. See, well it can't be. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. This is this is such this is such a bad game. I hate it so much. What baby boomer? Oh no no! Oh, and he and he put it on. How dare you? Beam Software. <laughs> I'm I, I just want to my head. I just want to show it off. This, this, okay. Why, why couldn't they at least get the freaking Back to the Future song? This is the only song in the game. Do you know that, right? Really? This is, this no is the only Huey song Lewis you hear. No. I guess you hear some like doo-wop music it's at another level. Of, it's the power of love. No. Nope. So I just want to play this for so a minute. Who do you play as? Just Marty? Marty McFly. You know, sleeveless black T-shirt Marty McFly from the movie. Of Wait, course you know he him. He was wearing sleeveless? No, he wasn't. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Um, what is the objective? The objective is to Not finish a level time. before you get mad and throw your NES out a window. <laughs> um, I mean, so many bad licensed games happened, right? I mean, are, were there any examples of really good licensed games uh, during the NES era just, that just we want to call attention Capcom, to? Capcom, Disney, um, Konami's Tiny Toon stuff was good. Okay. Um, very little, though. Yeah. I, I think I that Star say. Trek game was good. Um, yeah, this game is just rancid. <laughs> it's like Paperboy meets, uh, I don't even know what this is. I think when Frank, uh, did take over Retronauts briefly, he had people from Beam Software on, and he had the guy who programmed this game himself, but they didn't call attention to that fact. He was, like, 19 years old when he made this game. Really? And I believe he might he might have made it by himself. Uh, check the record on that, but, uh... Okay, do you remember what episode? Um, it was probably in some somewhere in mid-2010. Okay. Yeah, it was one where he had a bunch of Atari guys on, so if you want to listen to the guy talk who made this, yep. and then get sad. Okay, what are we doing now? Okay, uh, Muramase Joe. Okay, and then we're going to do DuckTales of the Moon, and then we're going to leave. Oh, okay, sure. Wow. Uh, I mean, that was we're quick. running out of time, right? Yeah, we are running out of time. Jesus, I feel kind of... I feel <laughs> I'm like I'm taking one of those slots, guys. Mura. Mura. Uh, well, I don't, it had another name in front, but uh, people know it today as Takamaru's uh, Ninja Castle. It's part of Nintendo Land. Mura. We, we have no M-U-R-A. No, no, no. Well, there's, there's another Taka, name in front of... Uh, Taka. No, no, no. It's oh. not under that either. I need uh, to know. I need to know. Yeah, I know. I don't know. So <laughs> if you know what wait, Jose's talking about... Wait, why don't you just search NES uh, Muramase Space Joe? Can you do okay. that? Okay. Well, I mean, uh, they were going in alphabetical order and there was no M-U-R. No, I know, but won't I find it even if it's not the first word? Um, I don't think so. Nope. Nope. Okay, there goes that. All right, done. Uh, why don't you put on... What do we have as, as far as requests go? Black Manta. Wrath of the Black Manta? Mm-hmm. There we go. And then we'll do uh, Duck Calls Out with some DuckTales moons. Yep. Yeah. That's a weird uh, <laughs> pose. <laughs> All right. All right. You going to play this one? Yeah. Unless right. you want to. Uh, I'll take it because you, okay. you can make I'll, DuckTales probably I'll go out good. with the moon. Yeah. I'll take this. All yes, right. guys. We're, that, we're closing in on um, our final lunch break. We're going to play maybe a little bit over just to uh, give you an extra treat. 
and children, children are vanishing, vanishing from, from the, the streets. What's with all the children? I don't right. know. It's um, the same plot as Moonwalker. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, sorry, Mr. Neil. No, Mr. Gimmick. We will get to you in that at some point. Oh, Mr. Gimmick. Holy cow. Yep. Hello. Let's Wait, <laughs> I'm pressing buttons, man. This is a poor man's engine guide, and I think. I can tell. <laughs> they, they thought about the cutscenes when they made this game. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Just hit start. <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> yeah, this is kind of wonky. <laughs> Look at this, this finger. It looks like a like a gun. Yeah. The man in red knows something. Well, thanks for the hint. Man, this is some Dark Souls level hints right here. Drop a note. Yep. For some people, that can mean uh, something else. Whoa! He's got the total ninja fall happening, though. You see that? What would happen? Uh, earlier. Like, I don't know. He has a, like, one leg. Oh. That's the man in red. <laughs> Where is your boss? Come on, we need a dramatic reading. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're free to go. All right, thank you. Yeah, and you're free to actually disappear, apparently. All right, I took the exit. Uh, okay, let's boot up DuckTales. Okay, yeah, let's go. We're oh, going to go out. Oh, Uh-oh. All right, go for it. Not, like it Not really impressed with Wrath of the Black Manta. Sorry. So, guys, we're closing Nazo out. Nazo no Muramase, Joe. Uh, Damn it. Come on, come on, please. Nazo, Are Nazo. You sure? and yeah, why not? All right, we'll two seconds, yeah. two seconds. It's not like that that game has that much context that it needs to have. <clears throat> anyway, if you're watching at home, this is uh, one of the games that uh, is in Nintendo Land, and uh, it was a Famicom Disk System game first. Um, and I guess they kept kind of the core idea because you are a samurai fighting against different ninjas. You know what? Ninjas. I do not have that. What? I'm sorry. Incomplete. Unless it goes by like so there's something before Nazo. Yeah. I got no Nazo. All right, thanks, Tanch, but. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Nothing. That's okay. All right. You can look it up on the on the tubes. And you should. All right. So anyway. Yes, it's we're kind of a top-down Zelda isometric kind of thing. Anyway, duck we're going out on the middle. Tails. Duck. Tails. All right. All here right. we go. Where we? Uh, what are you gonna do? Wampaku duck. You may poke. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Should have right. played that one just because the title screen would be interesting. So I guys. Said duck tails. Thank you for uh, watching all of our live streams all year. Yep. Uh, I don't know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, we disappeared for a while and we came back. Yeah, right? we did. Yeah. And uh, this kind of idea will be around in some form in the next year. We're not, we're not sure what we're going to do with it, but uh, it's not going to go away entirely. Um, what do you say, Jose? Uh, I say very interesting ventures are coming. Yeah, we're working on we new, can't talk about. new ways to bring you content and make tons of bucks. Oh, sorry about that. You can ignore that. Scrooge bucks. So what um, can we talk about that's been going on live on the site lately? What's coming up over the break? Anything mm, we need to talk about before we go? Well, I guess this week's theme on 1UP has been Game Over. And, yeah, that's uh, right. Sort of the way different games have handled that. Right. Uh, and we've so had a lot games of without game over, games with game over, uh, game over as a new beginning. A lot of cool features, so check that out on the site on oneup.com. Yes, and if you like Retronauts, and you should if you're watching this, I guess. Uh, I just put up an episode with uh, Dave Grossman and Tim Schafer talking about Day of the Tentacle, yes. an hour of that, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. I hate this jump, by the way. Really? Yeah. What you got against that jump? It's kind of difficult. There we go. There you go. <laughs> nice work. So yeah, this is... This is I don't know, one of the best songs in a video game ever? Yeah. Can we so go that far? Uh, yeah, I'll, I, would, I would go with that. Um, I'm more of the Castlevania crowd, but I like this song. It's very inspiring. Yes. Um, so, uh, a couple of other things. So next week, the uh, return of the Essential 100. Mm, that's right. Yeah, the, the end of the Essential 100. Oh, the end, that's right. You're yes, going to yes. read the last 25. Unlike the end of Evangelion, we don't kill them all. Oh. <laughs> uh, and do a lot of other crazy shit. Uh, what else? Let's see, what else can we talk about? Um, I I don't know. I'm the kind of like same old writing, same old features. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not I don't I don't mean here. to downplay them, but uh, just read one up, guys. Yeah. If you haven't been reading it, uh, come check it out. Yes, and definitely be excited because cool things are on the way. That's true. But, uh, hopefully, you will not believe. <laughs> Okay, okay, so a couple of closing comments. It would be cool if that new Mega Man soundtrack with the Konami Castlevania sound trip were down to DuckTales. Ooh. Uh, I like that. Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, we don't have any more. Okay. All right, well, well I guess oh, we'll... wait, we'll, do oh. Spelunker. Sorry, David, we can't. Yeah. But you can look that up on YouTube. Yes, you can. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for joining us all year on Retronauts Lunch Break. I appreciate you watching. We will be back next year in some form, so don't lose hope. 
And uh, please keep following us on Twitter. Please keep reading one up. Please keep subscribing to the podcast. Yep. And I will see you next year with some new Oh, my God, stuff. it's Launchpad. You have it to is. talk to him no. yeah, before you leave. Jose, you're ruining my flow. That was a great closing. Yeah, that was a great closing. All right, here we go again, guys. Thanks for watching Lunch Break <laughs> all year. Oh, my God, it's Launchpad. Okay. I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Or wait, next year. Later. Next year. Take care, guys.